to the city of Los Santos, a city of endless and amazing possibilities, a huge metropolis with various different cultures ranging from the prestigious residents of Vinewood to the suburban hood life of the South Side. As a new resident, I'm sure you could be overwhelmed by all the things you can do in this wonderful city. And you may have plenty of questions. This is the story of Betty Sexum, a 76 years old woman, who we follow the story where she left all her family behind in a different place, in a different part of the world. Now she's moved to Los Santos. We don't know an awful lot about her, but please come and watch the introduction of Betty Sexum and we follow this series of her through day-to-day -day life and troubles in Los Santos. Hey, you're supposed to call me. Yes, let's get together. Oh, I don't know where I am. Hey, man. It, it, it all seems so confusing. Oh, dear. I wish my family were with me. But now, due to circumstances, I've had to be on my own. It's going to be really hard to even know where to stay. I managed to get myself an apartment, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think I'm going to struggle here. I'm getting on a bit. I was born in 1945. I'm very used to good manners and good people in my day. That's how it was. Everyone respected each other. But it doesn't happen now. So it's completely different to what it was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story of Betty Sexum. How are you doing, my dear? I'm very well, thank you. Right, I need to find a job. I can't believe I've got to work. Born in 1945, I worked continuously all the way until just recently when, due to circumstances, that I'm sure you'll find out later on. I've had to leave everything behind and start again. It's not going to be easy. Right, well, this is Los Santos. It's a big world out there. Could be anywhere. How'd you get a job around here? Oh, oh, I'll show you. I bought myself a phone. Now, this is really good because I've never really had a phone before, so this is something like, you know, the, the technology stuff, as these youngsters say. And I, I think when something's good, they call it, like, sick. I've never understood that, to be fair. I mean, when someone used to say, oh, that's sick, I thought, oh, you poor darling, there's something wrong with you. But no, no, actually, it's meant to be, a, you know, a cool thing for some weird reason. Anyway, I've got loads of different stuff on me, on the apps. So, I've got my mail, as you can see. Betty Sexum. I've got advertisements, so that's good. There's no advertisements, but that is good when I need it. I've got the bank app. Oh, don't look at me money. Oh, that's I've got, that's all I've got to live on. 
at the moment. That's all I have. So I do need to get a job. I can't live on that. And you've got some sort of whipping factor. Have we got the racing? Probably not something that I'm going to do very often, to be fair. Um, got the houses. There you go. And my keys. Again, I've got an apartment. I'll take you and I'll show you that very soon. It's not very much, but it's enough. Oh, look at that boy. He's got his shirt off. He's got a nice bum. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Um, anyway, services. So, we've got two mechanics on. So, we've, we, I've got our car broken down. These little joys will come and help you. There's no police on, that's good. Ambulance and a taxi. And a real estate. Oh, and a lawyer, but there's no lawyers on. So that's the main bit there. Then obviously I can ring. I can WhatsApp someone if I need to. Settings. So this is my number here. I have to put it in because I, I forget. And it's easy to forget things. Especially when you get to my age, that's for sure. Um, and then we've got the Twitter. No twits are being posted. I'm not sure what twits is. I think it's, I think it's a little bit like, um, oh dear, that scared me. I think it's something a bit like people have to whisper or something like that. I'm not too sure yet. Anyway, that, that's my phone. So let's have, a, let's get the map out here. Let's see where we are. We need to get a job here. Um, Pillbox Hospital. That's probably going to be my second home, to be fair. Um, right, let's have a look and see. Yeah. There's the pain station. Um, right, you've got some money here. What's this thing? Oh, that's a bank. To be fair, I don't need my money in a bank here. It'd be all right in an envelope, to be fair. There's so little of it. A tattoo shop. Oh, that looks a bit scary. I don't think I'll do that, to be fair. Um, right, so what's this here? We've got the gas station. We've got cars. That's really pointless, to be fair. Oh, we're near a bank as well. We're near a hospital. No, it's a hot dog stand. Not a hospital, you silly petty. It happens, that's the problem. Sometimes I forget where I am. I need just about remember who I am, to be fair. We've got a car here, look, oh, this looks nice. It's a trucking office. Now, that would be interesting. I last drove about 10 years ago. But now, obviously, I've got my bus pass, but not sure how that works here, so I, I will need, I think, a, a job. Now, a trucking job sounds really good. It's a long bloody walk. Um, oh, I say, that is massive walk. Can I just not get a Tesco's? A Tesco's, there it goes again. My mind is just running away from me. I didn't mean a Tesco's, I meant a taxi. Downtown cabs, where is the cab firm? Oh, it's so confusing when you're somewhere new for the first time. It takes me a while, obviously, because everything does, doesn't it? You do, you've got to get used to your surroundings. Right, so I do want to do the trucking job. I do fancy that, being on the road, being sexy, that, that sort of thing. Window down, arm out, looking at all the old gentlemen. Um, right, that's the hot dog stand. Now, how do I actually get a taxi? That's the question, isn't it? And that's the question on everyone's mind, to be fair. Um, right, okay, so that doesn't really help. Let's bring our phone up. There you go. Right, so we need houses. No, we don't need houses. Services. Now we could do with a taxi. There are no taxi. 
is available. That is a little bit of fucking liberty. Oh, what a prat. Right, okay, so we're just going to carry on walking and see where we get to. Well, we've got to stop here. I mean, I'm doing everything really because, like, I'm stopping smoking now as well. So, you know, I've, I've literally changed my whole life around. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god, I've got a limp now as well. Now I'm limping. Oh my god. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I'm bleeding. I've got no ambulance people here either. It's going to be a bloody nightmare. Oh, Jesus Christ, it hurts. That's the problem, see, you get old and you're more fragile. And that, and that is the problem. You know, your head wants to do something. But your body, mm, that's got another fucking story that has. It's a fucking nightmare. What a fucking prat. I didn't look where I was going. Oh, I think it was red actually, so I actually skipped it. I shouldn't have done, to be fair. It's all my fault, obviously. Because as you get older, you lose your fucking marbles. Oh, he looks nicely dressed, doesn't he? Oh, yes, he's a nice yes, gentleman. Oh, he's on the phone. That's the problem these days. Everyone's always busy, they always want to do something, they're always in a rush, there's always a problem. You know, but then again, if you take your time, like I've just done, and I'll get, you get, get run over, you know. Anyway, my house is just up here at the moment, hopefully I'll make it in time. Oh dear, it's really hurting it. It's right on the right side. Oh my god. What's over like a chew toy just chucked in the road no care in the world oh look at that car over there no oh, fuck there's someone in it oh what's he doing oh it's a she i think no it's two people what are they doing hello Hello? What are you lot doing in here then? You be scared to speak? Well, this is a bit unusual, isn't it? Really? I mean, I can understand if it was a gentleman and a lady, but this is a bit unusual. Nicely dressed, though. Yeah, over the top, we're showing everything. Hello there, how are you? It's a nice car though. Very nice. Right, let's get on. Oh, bless you, love. You need to get some... Oh, bless you. You need to get some flu tablets inside ya. That's because you're coming out in the cold. Half-dressed, that doesn't help, does it? Oh, mind that. Oh, God, look, she just went straight into the pole. That's a good job you're not a gentleman. Right, let's get back home. He's nicely dressed. He looks a bit like Jackie Chan. Oh, I love Jackie. Right, my leg is really... Oh, oh, that was my fault. I know it was. You'd have to tell me twice, that's for sure. Well, let's see if I can get across these roads. These roads are nightmares. I didn't realise how bad they were. Right, oh God. Come on, help me. Don't run me over. I'm only old. Right, oh. God, it really does hurt, I must admit. I am bleeding. I am a little bleeder. Oh God, I don't want to die here. I've only just made it into the city. And I'm already dead. Morning. Oh, you're smoking, that's bad, that is. Bad, bad habit, that. Oh, dear, my leg, my leg. Oh, dear, I might have to get it chopped off. You imagine that, I'm running around with one leg. You can't even run around, you're just going circles. I'd be 
be a fucking nightmare. How am I going to do that? Just running around. Oh, we're, we're in a race, love. Look. Oh, I'm winning. I've got a dodgy leg as well. Oh, darn, no. Oh, oh dear. I'm bleeding out. I've got 300 seconds, I think, until that's the end. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Help me, everyone. Please help me. Anyone want to help me? No, obviously not. They're all miserable bastards. Where's my phone? Oh, there it is. Right. Let's, let's put something out on this whisper thing. Let's do that. See if anyone comes. Betty Sexum just needs some help. But if you can get a nice gentleman, then that would make a lot of difference. It would kill me quite quick, actually. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's really, really hurt at the moment. I'm down my right side. That's why they hit me. Smack me in the ass. They did right in the bloody ass. Oh dear, I've never moved so fucking quick. Even when I was in my twenties, I never moved that quick. Oh dear. Let's put that away for a minute. Oh dear, I don't know how it's gonna go. Oh my god. It's really hurting now. I'm really struggling actually, to be fair. Oh dear. Oh, there's a bloke down there with his car door open, I think. I don't know what he's doing down there. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, help me. Come on. I'm not homeless. I'm, I'm injured. It looks like I'm homeless, but I'm not. I'm, oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Can you help me, please? Can you help me? Can you, you ignorant bastard? I don't even respect the elderly anymore. What a piece of shit he is. It's getting dark now as well. 206 seconds left and I've got some serious fucking issues going on here. My fucking leg's going to be chopped off, I know it. I just know my leg's going to be chopped off and then that's going to be the end of it. Oh, God. Is anyone going to help? Let's check my phone. Let's see. He's just walked over my bloody toe. No, no one's helping. No one cares in their life. No, I'm a miserable old, crippled up lady that no one wants to help anymore. Hello, anyone see me? I'm injured on the floor. I'm not homeless. Hello? Hello? No. Absolutely no one wants to help at all. Right. Okay. I'll get you back. If I can get up, obviously. Oh dear, see now, this is the problem when you can't get a bus, you have to walk here. There's people driving like maniacs. They're driving like, what a bloody prat. Now, you will notice I say what a prat a lot. Um, it's just that I've been used to saying it to my family a lot. So, you know, they, they get used to it. What a fucking prat. Oh, God, come on. Anyone going to help me? I'm old. I need help. Hello. Hello. Oh, come on. I'm going to bleed here. I'm going to die on the hard shoulder. I don't know what road this is called. I don't think it really, really matters, to be fair. But we've got some serious problems going on. 
There be some serious problem.